All right, good afternoon, everybody. We are going live with your favorite most bananas options experts in five, four, three, two. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon to all of my friends all over the country and all over the world. Welcome to Trade to Close. This is a special Trade to Close. It is our free Friday, which happens once a month. Um, we are gonna, I'm gonna bring on Vaz here in about 10 or 15 minutes, uh, to dig into the day, but I wanted to start by kind of warming you guys up on, on what we're seeing and what you might hear and, uh, everything going on in the market. Uh, it is a really, you know, for how slow it feels, it's actually inside of the slowness of the S and P. There are some stocks moving around. Uh, NVIDIA is up 27 bucks, good for 3%. Uh, you've got Deer, um, Deer moving, Google's up, Apple, which is recovering from yesterday's debacle, uh, having itself a, a little bit of a bounce. I actually think we might get more bounce there. And, um, you know, so, Mute. The most of the market is down, but when Apple is up and Google and Amazon and Nvidia my, and Microsoft's flat and come on Meta and Meta is flat. It's very difficult for the S and P to really sell off because of the way it is structured. So that's just something to have on the top of your head. Now, a couple of things that are going to go down today. Um, Vaz and I are going to take a hard look at this market because we're sitting at an all right off an all time high. In fact, if we closed here, it would, I believe. Let me get SPX up. If we closed green on the day, it would still be an all-time high for a close. And one of the things I've been tracking is this bottom line here is implied volatility on the S&P. And what I want you to notice is that here we are right now. Each of the low points in the S&P since when I started this line in December has been a little bit higher. And then each of the high points has also been a little bit higher, which tells me maybe we need to be worried. But on the other hand, there's the volume profile, which I'm not an expert in, but Vaz is. And she's got her own op opinion. So we're going to be debating that a little bit. Uh, we're going to be talking about where we think the market is going next. Uh, where do you think the market is going next? All right. Who's bullish? Who's bearish? All right. Let me know. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or you're watching on Twitter, let us know in the, in, you can tweet at us, um, or in YouTube, you can just, uh, leave a comment in the, uh, thing i mean if they want to join the live chat today all right and now i know we've got a lot of new people here if they want to join the live chat today is there an easy way to do that in the next in the next 10 minutes before vaz appears you mean for the in all of her in all of her grace for people watching on youtube they already have a live chat in there okay people watching on twitter are going to have to tweet at us people watching on our website uh, unfortunately, the website is on, uh, the chat on our website is only for the members. Right. So you've got to become a member to be a to be a chat. But you can tweet at us. You can YouTube. You can leave comments in the YouTube. Um, but just as a heads up, we got something really special for everybody that is not a member that is going to encourage you to want to be a member. Um, and we're gonna hopefully pay for the whole thing today. Uh, that's our plan. What we do on Trade to Close every day is 
Um, Vaz goes through charts. She talks about the volume profile. We look at individual stocks. And then the last half hour of the day, we generally are gearing up to trade the final 10 minutes. You're saying, Mark, why the final 10 minutes? Because the final 10 minutes is the most volume, volume heavy, action packed 10 minutes of the entire trading day. More interesting than the open, more interesting than any point during the day. And during those final 10 minutes, we have the opportunity to potentially change our entire day, right? Um, people in the trade to close chat, how many times, you know, have you ever been down on the day and then you come to trade the close and we turn your day positive? If the, if the answer is yes, please let us know. Write, us an, uh, write me uh, just a quick comment um, pointing that out just to kind of, because the proof is going to come not from me telling people, but from our people who have actually experienced that turnaround, taking advantage of it. Um, but that is part of what we do. All right. Yeah, give it, it give us a give us a, like a, a a a you know 30 a 30 word uh example if you don't mind because that is going to be you know what a, that's really where the proof is is in people telling us Mark I was down and and it feels great Mark I was down $800 today and now I closed the day up 500 because of what we did on trade to close that is the best, the best thing that, that we can see. Yeah. BK says, definitely have turned some red into green. Wealth Warrior. Many times, I want to admit. Um, anyway, so here's that trend line. And we'll, we'll, put, we'll, we'll post a couple of examples for you folks. And then here's that, going back to here, here's kind of the, the trend line. So we're at a spot where vol might, vol might bounce and we, we might get a turnaround. Now for today, all right, I want to tell you guys what I'm looking at here. This is a one-minute chart of the S&P 500. This is a one-minute chart of the triple Qs, the NASDAQ 100. This blue line is volume-weighted average price. And each of these lines are standard deviation away from that volume weighted average price. So right now the volume weighted average price is 52.3804. One standard deviation is 52.41, two 52.45, and three 52.49. Um, you know this is really gives me a view of what today's trading range has been like and what the trades have been like. From and I'm going to use this to when we're in the final 10 minutes to kind of figure out exactly what's happened, where we're bouncing off. I find these levels to be very important. These, these standard deviation bands, you'll hear me call them Baldwin bands. That is my nickname for them. Um, they will give us insight into where support and resistance is. And this is in addition to Vaz's volume profile also gives us those support and resistance levels. Um, you're going to see Vaz talk about Fibonacci and Fibonacci retracements, which he trades uh, on on the daily. And um, there, there's going to be a lot of a lot of interesting pieces to cover. I've made lots of winners, and it's fun. Thanks, Eugene. Best hour of the day, says Stock Pick Pick Stock Sisters. Oh, thank you. Uh, so here. That is, that is one thing that you're going to see from me. And then the other thing you're going to see from me is I'm going to be looking at order flow, you know, what options are trading and where. And I'll walk you through what the trade actually looks like and what, what big money is doing. When I trade with order flow, Generally speaking, we're talking five, ten thousand, fifteen thousand contracts that went up. So, for instance, this is a coin roll 
a trader sold the 257 and a half calls in coin at 325 or bottom, excuse me, bought to close and then sold the March 28, 267 and a half at 775. So this is a call overwriter rolling higher. So you're going to see that type of information shared as well as Vaz and I go through the day trading. Um, Vaz is going to start the show going through the charts, the stocks she likes. Um, I'll just chime in as needed. Uh, and then as the day progresses, you'll, we'll get more and more into the meat, but we're going to start the day talking what's next for the market. Is it going up or is it going down? At some point it'll go down. When, what level do you start getting worried? We're going to hit on all of that. Should be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I know I'm excited. Uh, because this is my favorite part of my day. I, I love being with my students. Uh, I'm live for about, you know, close to two hours a day. Uh, and being live with you and everyone here is my favorite thing. I, I, it's the best part of trading. All right. So as we head in, one thing to look out for. I'm going to introduce Vaz here in two minutes. One thing to look out for is that, that three o'clock buy. And you're saying, Mark, what do you mean three o'clock buy or three o'clock move? Uh, you'll see a lot of times right at three o'clock. Check this out. Here or like right around here was uh, yesterday. This is a Thursday, Thursday, the 21st. We get a little bit at you know, three o'clock hits, two o'clock for me, I'm in central time. And then, you know, maybe we bounce around, but you start getting this bid and they try to run the stock market up. So I want you to watch for that as the bell happens. We're going to get a, you know, either a, a, bid, a bid and we're going to rally, which kind of feels like is going to happen. Or they may they'll decide to take us back below VWAP into lows. But I don't feel that happening at all. He was kind of in a similar situation. But that is what the show is going to be about. That's what we're about. We're here every day from three to four. Um and we're giving you trades that are not day trades, stuff that we're going to do over the course of three days or three weeks uh, on individual equities. Uh, trade Names like CGC that we sold at a nice win today. Um, you know, we've had in the last month, we've done trades in Schwab for 56%, Teva for 35 Uh Dollar General for 50%, MASH for 50%, um, Google for 125%, uh, Ford for 100%, CGC for 93.75%. Uh, we've had losers in there. Um, but by and large, we win a lot on these trades that last one, two, three, or four days. And then we also are going to be trading the close the last hour, which is the, the last 10 15 minutes, which is also very exciting. Speaking of very exciting, it is now three o'clock in the afternoon, which means we're about to be joined by the one, the only, the, the victor of the volume profile, the voice of volume, the, the fanatical the, the, the fanatic of Fibonacci, she is a former Gap Kids model and the best darn end of day trader you're ever going to meet. She is one Olivia Vaz. Hey, Welcome, what's up, Marco? Hey. Good to see you. Happy Friday. Woo! Yes, happy Friday. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the close. I know right now we're streaming on YouTube. We're streaming on Twitter. We're going to be on TikTok in half an hour. Yes, guys, it's really exciting. Yeah. 
Welcome to the close. Good to see you, Vaz. <laughs> yes, it's so great to have uh, open up the room for Free Friday and have a lot of new faces in here. Make sure to tweet us or put it in or put any comments in that uh, YouTube chat. We'll take uh, requests in just a little bit, and we want to see what you have to say as well. But what is up, Chat Wealth Warrior Robert Bacon? Hey, Robert Bacon, that is a great name because that is what we're going to do is make that bacon, make it sizzle. Well, I baby. like that. I like that, Faz. Yes. Um, all right. Now, I know everybody wants to know what we're up to this weekend because they want to know what's what's behind all the uh, what's going to be so exciting. But mm -hmm. let's start with the market because I feel like we're at a crossroads. I know. And we're at, I think, an inflection point where we're either going to take off or take under. And I've got my ideas, but I know you've got your ideas. Why don't you tell us, you know, what you think the market is going to do for the next, through the end of the month? We'll just, we'll set the peg at, at March 31st. Okay. So through deep, deep, deep analysis and socially, uh, social experiments, a uh, lot of technical analysis, deep economic diving, data cracking, the market's never going down. Does that answer <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah. The market is never going down. This market I is not my... going down. So I've got a, you know, what's interesting in the last two days, I've gotten both a bull and a bear signal. And I'm going to, I'm going to know what is what here in about two days. So I want to start with what I'm seeing in VIX. Okay. VIX for the first time all year is normal in, in the way it is structured. We have not seen this all year. Is. Yeah, no kidding. So the front month future is 1440. The cash index is 1287. The spread of over one and a half. To put things in perspective, when we, you know, February 14th, Valentine's Day, VIX is, or I'll even find a, I'll find a, a low day, right? So mm. here we are. The VIX is about 14. And the spread, we had 34 days more than we do now. And the spread was less than a buck. And that was what we've been experiencing all year. And that finally just opened up today. Now, on the other side of the trade is SPX. And, you, you know, I drew a, uh, a trend line on implied vo on volatility here. And we're, you know, we've got higher highs every time since december 15th you know so we would call this a, a, a swelling right you know when a when a when a uh, typhoon typhoon hits or a hurricane mm -hmm. you get a mm -hmm. you get like the swelling of water uh before yes. you get the 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 big uh the big flood mm -hmm. this is the way it sets up if if we break the low from March 30, March 1st on VIX, I'm both hands buying. That's where I land. Right now, I still am leaning like the market is getting a little bit toppy here. Um, not for a huge correction, but maybe a revisit back to 50, 50, 50, or, you know, at least a, a, we, I mean, we've not, we've not closed below the 21 day moving average in the S and P closed at all since march uh january 17th mm -hmm. two over two months and i'm not talking the 50 i'm not talking the 200 i'm talking the 21 day 21 i know <laughs> which should get touched every now and again <laughs> why don't you love me anymore <laughs> yeah it doesn't get a, it doesn't get any hugs no right. hugs. So no free that's hugs. What I see in, that's what I see in the charts. What do you see in the charts, Vaz? Listen, Mark, you know I follow volume. I, yes. It's just when you are getting enough, if you are reaching all-time highs and you have talk about a swell of volume come in, that means Traders want to trade at these levels. That's all. Mm -hmm. And we've continued to see that. Listen, I know 
Mark and I are in competition, as you could tell. And listen, if yeah. you can't beat them, join them, which is why we decided to trade together. That's basically yes. our motto. And everyone's yes. been saying- Your basically job saying, is to talk me out of being short all the time. And you, <laughs> exactly. And didn't, didn't I do exactly that last week? I said to all our closers and Mark, guys, we are going to smoke the shorts this week. That, and that is time stamped last week. No, you were dead on. So you were dead on. Yes. With confidence, with confidence, because of that exact reason, like you said, Mark, we have not touched the, the 21 day moving average. If you look at the cues, for instance, it has broke the 21 day moving average and no one cares. They buy it right back up. We buy it right back up. Mark, I, I am hands on yeah, saying they did it. we're the cues broke on the 15th. The cues broke on the 15th and on the 21st. And it was a one day event, maybe two days at, yeah. at max, a little, a little getaway. Yeah, we, I think, let's see. The longest one was we had a three day event in February and a three day event in March, neither of which February was a little stronger than March. March was not a huge move. February was mm -hmm. a little bit more. Um, but you know, that's, that's been, been that, but cues are showing of, you know, a similar trend line on implied volatility, except one thing. Is that? We are at a lower low relative to the last dip here. So okay. maybe, maybe there is that all clear. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe Probably. I'm right. Mark, I, listen, we are, everyone has FOMO and everyone is saying, oh, the correct, it's the correction that got away. And I, I truly thought we were at the beginning of the year. I thought we were going to, once those big earnings started coming in, I thought that would be the healthy correction that we just need to have to end the year on all time highs. That mm -hmm. I'm for sure of. I mean, they never G that. stamp it, but I'm, I'm, I'll V stamp it. Okay. I'll V stamp it. V O Z stamp it. Um, I think what I'm seeing in, in my charts is that we need to reach higher highs and then get a correction. I don't think that spy will ever get back to these levels down here. If you can show my screen real quick, I mean, and by the way, I said the I market was active. Like, but I don't have it yet. I'm not sharing it, am I? I'm not sharing my screen. What a crime. Okay, here we go. So if you take a look at my charts, and by the way, recently, I said the market's acting like it's it lost its parked car in a garage and it can't find it. Well, guess what? It finally found it and vroom we go. But looking at these levels and looking at Fibonacci, I do not see the market ever reaching, ever again, reaching these levels down here. I think that we need to, my upside target has been clear that Navy line 530, once we start trading above there, then we'll get that correction. If okay. we even get it. <laughs> but that's that, what that I was... am forecasting. Yeah, that look, that's kind of what the, I believe the pitchforks kind of say as well, that, that, uh, mm -hmm. we look like, what do you, what do you, all right. So now that we've kind of talked about the long term, I think we're, we both are in agreement. It looks like we're, we're going, my feeling is we're going to cycle higher this, this vol regime of lower, mm -hmm. higher lows, higher highs, and then something will crack. But until then, if you try and get short, you are going to get destroyed. So just long I will destroy you. and strong. You'll get destroyed what? by the closers. That's you will. Yeah. Anyone that's watching, if you want to go short, we will eat you alive. So come join us yeah. <laughs> or yeah. at least be on the right side of the trade. Cause that is what I'm but hunting yeah, no, for. It's, it's not a good time. Now is not the time to be short. It will come get crushed at some point. Right. It well, always does eventually. Well, it kind of reminds me, Mark, I want to bring you back here. Let me just clear up my, my chart real quick. We were, even when the market, you know, I don't like to put titles on the market until I see strong indication that we are in a bull or bear market. You can call it, you can pick a bottom, pick a top, whatever the case is. I'm, I'm pretty darn close. But when we were trading in bullish conditions back in, let's see, right around here, August, Mark, August, right, mm -hmm. right when we started trade to close, that August, September period, 
we were in bullish conditions and then we started cracking major support areas in the volume profile volume was being broken and when volume starts mm -hmm. breaking that's when you can take advantage to the downside but it has to be clear to me and the volume profile needs to make that roadmap that we haven't seen yet make that roadmap and then we'll break it down so i don't mind going short once we get that roadmap in but it yeah it, we have to reach 5 30 right around that area i might even uh, I might even um, up that target. But again, that is for the long run. You asked me for the end of the month. That's what I, and end of the month, in the next couple of weeks, whatever the case is, we're going let's, up. Spy needs to reach 530. Yes. Probably and right into we'll earnings, probably right in, maybe right into the next earnings season. Look this traded. Oh, yes. Yes. So, all right, Marco, let's talk about the close right now. We just broke uh, yeah. BWAP. All right. We just broke BWAP. The closer is bearish, guys. So we're going to look to retest at least down here 52098 closers know exactly what to do if you are new at the show on the show uh we're gonna talk about how we trade the close uh right around 3 30 but we got to get our trades in um mark i'm looking for a test of 52095 and then perhaps a further breakdown down to the 200 day moving average uh just a closer alert and if you guys don't know what the closer is that's my my indicator, my little uh, formula that I use, a bunch of technicals and data to understand our lean here. And if you guys want to wait for the bombshell at the end of the day, around 350, 345 ish, 355, we could trade that too. Doesn't mean it's going to be lower or higher. We will, we will recap. Um, so, Mark, we did, I just we did to run right out. to my first. I mean, they pushed that down in a hurry. Um, mm -hmm. And then we ran to the first Baldwin band, which I prepped yes. people for knowing what that is, uh, and yes, then have bounced up. Uh, so again, reminder, what you're looking at is VWAP. There's a one minute chart of the S&P, VWAP, and then each of these is a standard deviation away from VWAP. Yes. And right now, that VWAP is starting to, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're pushing us. VWAP is incredible mess. at the end of the day. I, I yes, I, I, know. I know Marco. I'm telling you, it's it's going to I absolutely use VWAP in that formula. And that's why this time of day, it truly is a day trader's paradise because you get to yeah. partake in these awesome, this awesome market action and get immediate results. Um yeah, now the queues, nice. look at this, Vaz. Yeah, look where we stopped, see. right at VWAP in the queues. The queues are being the cues are listening to Mark. That's for sure. Yeah. And yeah, the cues did not did not break VWAP. I just want to take a look at Nvidia real quick because obviously that has been a a big a big market leader. But What's, by what the is the stock you call Nvidia? I've never heard of it. Oh, you you've never heard of Nvidia? Well, Jim Cramer no, was telling me to buy it at sixty five. <laughs> well, there you go. And I will say he was right. <laughs> he was right. He was right, and. You know, Mark, and I talked to you out of shorting NVIDIA the other day. I was like, Mark, don't do, just don't no. let NVIDIA yeah. lead. I don't know why people hate on it so much. Let it lead. Who cares? Stocks can go to You're right. a thousand, three thousand. It's it's this it kind of market thousand. that we're in right now. Yeah. So what did we hit today? 950? Mm -hmm. Right around there. Uh so anyway, Mark, another reason I like to to uh, trade this time of day is also looking to get into some swing trades, some even investing investing stocks. You can get a really good price. And I like to wake up the next day and it'll it'll already be going in my favor. I call it like the tooth fairy trade. You put you put a little yeah. stock under your pillow, you wake up the next day at the morning, you take your profits. Um, and we uh we did really well today in some we made over a hundred percent in a weed stock. Let's go. And I, I, have, love a, I have you you know you know i love what mark what do i love <laughs> making money okay <laughs> i was like what are we referring to right now um that's <laughs> like making money yeah exactly so oh. i do i love i love green what can i say i love the process of making money and trading that's why i'm obsessed with it but that's why i want to pitch yeah. you my watch list so while we see if the if right. the cues will crack or if we find a little bounce here closers keep us posted and I'll I'll keep you guys posted on if the closer right. tells me any so, rate trading. I mean, I'll I'll 
I'll have my 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 minute charts up. Put Vaz's screen up so she can walk through her walk watch list. Yes, perfect. Yep, and guys, we are getting that follow through. Uh, we, I'm telling yeah, you, we we're are. gonna retest right around here, like this five five twenty area. And yeah, I've, there, got, we're, I've what, got my next stop looks like fifty two thirty seventy eight right uh, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the, and this in is the what I'm cash, talking about. Hughes would be four forty five twenty. Okay. If the queues start breaking VWAP, then we're really going to have some fireworks in this they, close. Oh, they did. And they are. They did. They did. Yeah. Yep. So watch this, guys. Watch this live. Queues are going to hit 445.36. That's going to be our next target. And the reason is, like I was discussing before, there is lack of volume supply. So that's when, that's when people are jumping ship, right? It's like a falling knife situation. That's when Mark and I and the closers, that's when we go in. That's when we go in and, yes. and I'm sorry, we, we crush, we crush this area. Bam. It just hit my first target just like that. So we're going to follow this and see if we can crack down a little further, Mark. And uh, this, this will be pretty fun. So let me pitch you my, my watch list. Uh, first, I want to talk about uh, MU. Okay. This is a typical stock or a typical trade that we like to take around earnings season because this is when you get those earning gap and goes right and i like to do the vaz three buy on the third day so mu is on my watch list i don't like how it's trading today i want to see at least it rally a little bit here or at least tomorrow be inside of this uh pattern that i put here and then i'd like to possibly go long However, if we start cracking down, Mark, this would be an excellent short with lack of supply. It's not a volume profile trade, but it is a gap fill trade, kind of like how we did with Dell. So if MU starts yeah. looking like Dell, remember, guys, you wait for the third day. This cracked that magical little pattern here, and we went short, and we crushed Dell, which was awesome. Spippy in the chat knows what's up. Uh, looks like you guys are watching basketball too. UConn, 27 points. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm let, talk points with trades with me. Another one on my watch list, Marco, uh, this was actually a viewer request. TJ, TJ, and TJ Maxx, TJX companies. Oh, TJX, love, yeah. Yes. I love the candle today. Look at that. They're just, you know, those little emojis that are dancing next to each other, like the, in the cat outfits. That's what this looks like right now. I wonder if I could pull up emojis. I, I don't think I can. Oh, maybe I can. But anyway, these twin candles are showing me that we're, we're finding a nice little consolidation ready to pop. I love the, the chart, which is a W formation for winner. And if you measure that measured move uh, with the volume support here that clearly we're defending, uh, we're looking at a retest of the local high at 102. Um, next up, I want to pitch you. Let's see, we went over MU, TJ, TJX, airlines. I don't know if anyone's thoughts on airlines, but I think that AAL has wings. Kind of another. Uh, Delta was one that I've seen a lot of flow in. Really? Delta? Well, I think, yeah. you know, especially with what happened with Boeing got so beat up. I think that has to catch a bid sometime soon. But why pay attention to those when you could focus on ones that are already showing clear signs of strength and volume support? Um, AAL, this one is, it looks like it wants to break over this up, uh, the point of control, which is the highest, the biggest node on our chart here. Just think of the point of control or these nodes, almost like a moving average, like the 200 day moving average. You know, when something breaks over that, that's when uh, you can find lack of resistance to the upside and take profits. So yeah, it looks like I was pulling some fib here as well. I like AAL. Um, I think that- What do you mean when you say pulling some fib? fib? You know, we've got a lot of new people. There are maybe people that don't know Fibonacci retracement and how Fibonacci's oh. work. You want to give sure. like a, you know what, Boz? Yes, sir. I want to give like a little like two minutes on Fibonacci. I'll, I'll disappear myself and you can give like two minutes on Fibonacci. Yeah. I mean, if you could just uh, show me up up on the screen real quick and I'll I'll put a nice, um, let me just uh, re, uh, let me. Let me do a quick, a quick, um, a quick analysis on Fibonacci. Just give me one second. 
All right. So the way I like to play it is if we, as you guys know, we're trading breakouts, what it looks like, or breakdowns of this giant thing on my chart. And that giant thing is the volume profile. So, I mean, you could show my screen real quick. I'll just stick with AAL actually. So you can see on my chart, we have the volume profile. This is basically showing me what price has the most action. So the less, the less action or the more action available, the more that's going to create a lot of interest on the volume profile. Meaning if we start breaking above these areas, we can have an immense breakout. It's really exciting. However, sometimes when you break out of the volume profile, there's nothing to track, right? There's no volume profile up here. We need to, like we talked about SPY, we need to start making tracks up here to create the volume profile at these levels. So what I like to do is pull Fibonacci at this point to get upside targets. So, you know, just looking at this standard volume profile, your upside target right now is 1533. But what happens once it reaches that area? So I'm just going to pretend that it reached 15, uh, like right on top of the volume profile. Then you start looking at these other Fibonacci levels. So if you, if you want to pull a fib, you take the low to the high and this I'm eyeing what I'm assuming the high is going to be when it reaches that target. And then you could start having these magical numbers on your screen as upside targets. So we're looking at 16 in AAL. If this thing breaks out, it's going to get wings. Literally, it's an airplane stock and it is already looking very bullish. So that's all. These are just your extensions. You call them Fibonacci extensions. I also have some Fibonacci coordinates that I pay very close attention to. I call them the Vaz Fib that can give us extra confirmation in a trade for it to go higher or lower. And yes, I do use it at the end of the day. So Mark just talked about Delta, DAL. Let's see, uh, DAL, there's been a lot of bullish flow. And I'll show you an example of using Fibonacci here. We're just gonna take the local low to the most recent high. And according to these areas, it looks like we are reaching its first target. Now, luckily, We've made such a bullish case scenario that I can up the fib a little bit. And we're looking at the first target of 47.33. That's three points from where we are now. And I like how we're kind of slowly consolidating here for a continuation of the trend. Mark, I think your Delta idea is actually really swell. By the way, I just want to say hi oh, to Twitter. You. If you guys, Yes, I want to say shout out to Twitter and shout out to YouTube. Thanks for joining us on Free Friday where we trade the close. Yes. We have the show every day from three to four. We live trade. We have our signature bombshell trades, which we're going to go over in just a little bit how to do them. And we're also going to, uh, what are we going to do, Mark? We're going to go over the rest of my watch list and maybe even yeah, pick let's a bonus. go. Let's, let's, Delta looks really strong. AAL, they're buying a lot of the 15 calls for next week. Wowzers. Okay. So this is why I need Mark. Uh, AAL, yeah. a lot of 15. Okay. They are, they're 15 cents. The stock is fourteen eighty one. The March twenty eighth, fifteen calls are fifteen cents. That's amazing. Okay, that's it's that's, cheap. I might you get might a little excited. You might say it's excited. too cheap. Yeah, it's I like just those. Too I, cheap. I might buy. I might. You know what? I I I almost want to put that out as a trade. We'd have to keep on top of it, but that is a really really that's inexpensive an awesome. no, call. It's an awesome I'm cool. For, I'm cool with that. <laughs> put it in. All it's right. free Friday. Let's go. I have another right. doozy that I want to. So folks, um, you can buy six of these for 15 cents. That's $90. All right. That's, it cost me more to put gas in my truck. All right. <laughs> so 15 cents on six, on like six of them. And, mm -hmm. you know, if these go to 30 cents, you sell half of them and then see where the rest of it takes you. But it is a really, really inexpensive play. And, you know, based on what Vaz is telling us, I want to go long it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Amin, and you're if you're not in our room, then you're not going to see the official alert, but it's going to. But it'll nice be the one, AL Mark. March 28, 15 call for 15 or better. Or better. <laughs> yeah. Or 15 or better. 
We're better. We're better. Better. <laughs> uh, but that's why I love this. I th see, Mark. One thing is, I do. I love trading options. You obviously have such. You obviously have a sense to find something. What is the the best opportunity? What can I? What has? What gives me the most bang for my buck? Where I look at something, exactly. and I mean, I'm I have a pretty good nose for the market. I will make money on on any option that I would that I would pick if I know the direction. But I just love how you can really maximize those gains, especially at the end of the day. Because let's say if I want to go long, and we're going to talk about this in just a little bit, I'll make I'll make fifty percent, and Mark will make a hundred percent on the same move. You know, that's why I love trading with you, man. You're, you're, you're yeah. sick with that. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, sick the, with that. you're the coffee. I'm the cream. <laughs> you're the coffee. I love it. Speaking of that, Marco, check out, we, we hit my, we hit my target and watch this guys. This thing is going to balloon. We're hitting VWAP again. I, this is amazing that we are getting these opportunities right now. Uh, once we break over VWAP, watch, we're going to hit 522.03. Um, speaking of FIB, let me just pull something real quick. And congratulations on everyone who is getting filled here. Yeah, this thing is going to explode once over VWAP. You know how sometimes you could tag VWAP, maybe get over it and it fails? I'm 75% sure this is not going to be the situation here. Uh, once we break over that, this market's going to scream higher. And just like that, closers went bearish, closers went bullish, and hopefully we get a nice bombshell at the end of the day. Mark, I yeah, had a, I had a the, uh, yeah, go the ahead. The Qs never really broke away from VWAP. They used it as a um, you know, they used it as a base, and that's kind of allowing the rest of the market to rally. Um Qs have been the strongest ET index all day. Mm -hmm. Um all right, so on your watch list, what else you got? Sure, give me a second here. Uh, Marco, just one second. Okay, uh, I have Amazon. Mm. Now, Amazon is one of those where it's so active that, you know, big money is, is has to be massive. Um, yeah. What I will <laughs> say is that you got calls outpacing puts. Uh, yeah. It's pretty busy. It, not not the busiest day for Amazon. Um, I do like the stock. I mean, I think it's going to go higher, but there's nothing like, and it is just bouncing off the 21 day from from the lows today. We could see, mm -hmm. we could see we could see the swing break 180, uh, and and make me maybe make a run at 190. You get to 190, you're going to 200. That's the rule. Uh, I love that old adage. Yes, that's the rule. Follow the rules. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I love Amazon and I, I love the, I love the quality of the, of the fundamentals. I love the stock. Uh, we've been talking about going long Amazon forever. I, I think that this is one that I'm talking like shares, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. sure. You can buy the stock, you could sell cover calls, whatever the case is, but this one is, it's it's a beast and it's trading a lot like other stocks that needed that breakout. Like uh, what were we trading recently? General Motors. Um, I think Disney yeah. was one. We, we traded Disney because you were in Disneyland. <laughs> you know what? We looked we looked at the chart and it looked good, but we made yeah. great money in that one. Um, and I think that a lot of these stocks they just needed that that market direction to finally start breaking out. And since I am very bullish, if you guys can't tell, this is one that has not truly broken out of its consolidation yet. So I just wanted to throw it out there for the group and anyone who's watching right now, I love Amazon and um, I love it so much. I, I truly would like own it. So I think Amazon's okay. gonna be a huge pick of the year. Um, Mark, did you have any money flow you wanted to share with me? Yeah, I do, I do. Okay. Um, All right. There is a uh, stock that's kind of blowing up today that is seeing a ton of volume that what, what, what? is interesting to me. LUNR, mm -hmm. uh, Intuitive Machines, Inc. Um, they make um, moon vehicles. Y oh, my God. Yes. You saw big money flow in this, huh? Yes. No. That, yeah. That's insane. I, was, I actually was looking at this stock 
um, because it has such a monster setup. I mean, this is the holy S moment in that you can ever have in a chart. Let me walk you through it. You have, you're finding amazing support on the point of control. You have what I call a top shelf trade because I love my top shelf liquor, if you know what it is. But basically, you're making a shelf here uh, with your moving averages. You have complete lack of volume to the upside, meaning when we were talking about those falling knife situations, mm -hmm. this can absolutely just be, uh, um, I call it like a Ferrari, like, like move through this thin zone beautifully. And you have a MACD cross about to happen at the lows. So I love this, Mark. This is a great find. They are they are buying every single April 5th, six call they can get their hands on. You're joking. Yeah, look it. at this. So they're buying, they're so far, this is a stock that on a normal, you know, the, the total open interest is 57,000 contracts. Mm -hmm. They've traded 40,000 today. 37,000 of them are calls, 22 and a half thousand of them are the six calls. So they're doing a stock replacement. They're buying the in the money call and mm -hmm. um, either selling stock or using it as a proxy for stock. Um, so that is what you're, what we're seeing now. Somebody mentioned, wow, implied volatility of 136. It's a $6 stock. So one thing to be aware of is lower dollar stocks, when they start to move around, the implied volatility can get moved by uh, on a nickel because mm -hmm. because of the low relative cost. So, for instance, the April five, the April fifth, six and a half calls. Mm -hmm. All right, they have a Vega of a penny. All right, so what that means is that if somebody pays five, moves the calls from 65 65 75 or you know mm -hmm. 60 70 to 65 75 the implied volatility goes up by 5 points so a a 30 cent rally uh, you know a 30 in point implied volatility in lunar is mm -hmm. literally 30 cents we're not talking like you know chipotle or amazon or google or microsoft right. where there's oh, a chip. ton of premium here right even now rel on a relative basis are the six and a half calls for 65 cents expensive yeah yeah it's 10 percent of the value of the stock but on a actual dollar cost basis we're talking 65 cents one one contract 65 bucks it's not mm -hmm. like it's mm -hmm. gonna gonna kill you so I, li I like the play. One thing I would say is that, and I'll show you one more thing here, folks, if we, if we look at my screen here. Yeah, let's look at your screen. Um, so here's all those calls. And the upside is really expensive. As we rally, the implied volatility goes up and up and up. So for instance, and this is where you can do really well. The six and a half calls, I'm gonna, if I pay 70 cents, Sounds like a lot, right? But mm -hmm. I can sell the nine calls at over at probably better than 20 cents, pay 50 cents to be long from six and a half to nine, pays me out four to one if this thing takes off. Really inexpensive. Now, the other side of me says, why would mm -hmm. I sell an option at 20 cents when I could just get all the upside? So, but right. you know, having that upside skew tells me that there's demand for calls which generally is going to be pretty bullish to stock. Well, Mark, you thank it. you for breaking that down. So that's when j implied volatility is justified. Hey, Mark, uh, maybe we'll do a little bonus trade at the end of the close in that one. But I really yeah. want to, since we have a lot, we have like, I think almost a thousand people are here right now. So I want to make sure new people are here right now. Yes. So I want to make sure they understand what is this bombshell thing that this Vaz girl is talking about all the time? And why is it awesome yes. and signature trades to close? So I want to break it down real quick how I originally do it. And then, like I said, when I'm making 50% and running around like a madman, extremely happy, which is great. If I'll take my profits. Mark has a way of trading it a little differently that can maximize your gains even more. So there's all different strategies. Mine's a little more for high risk, high reward. And yours is a little more of a sure thing. 
But what's very cool about this strategy, Mark, is when it comes to risk, because we're we're trading zero DTE, if you guys are familiar with that phrase, it means these are options that are literally expiring today. So the time is actually on our side to get in at a fantastic price. And the dollar amount that you put in is low risk with a low. very- We're talking 100, 100 150 very, bucks. We're not talking- you know, huge dollars. And if we yes. hit on two, two in a week, mm -hmm. everyone's going to be up significantly. We've been hitting on four out of five lately. Oh man, Mark. And, we, and it's been good. I'll so tell you what, um, yeah, I'm going to go get some water. Why don't you reef? Why don't you tell everybody about the bombshell? And then I'm going to walk okay. through after you're done, I'll walk through how I trade it. Okay. I would love that. I would love that Mark. Get some right. water. And in the meantime, the Vaz, we're hitting VWAP right now before I leave. I told this. you we're bullish, baby. I know. I know. Here we go. I mean, the cues never went down. Spy hit my target perfectly, filled it. And as we hit VWAP, guys, this is our upside target now, 521, right around this like 522 level. Um, there's a little bit of a tango with the moving averages here. So uh, be prepared to get a little bit of a, a resistance here. But once we start breaking those areas, we are off to the races. By the way, this was a Vaz fake out trade. You guys, uh, the closers know exactly what that means. And if you want to learn more about it, obviously, got to come, got to come join us and see what actually goes down here and how to and and uh, the our trading toolbox for the trade to close. So here we go. I mean, if you could just show my screen, please. And we are taking off everybody. So this end of the day candle actually. We have trades all throughout the hour, depending on how much action the market is having. But but closers own literally this candle. This was us. This was us on Wednesday making money to the upside. That is our candle. That giant candle, whatever you were doing, closers were here making amazing, amazing gains with a Z as we traded the signature bombshell. Closer was bullish. We went into calls and we crushed it to the upside. Day, then yesterday, you can look at yesterday, we had a nice move lower. Closer was bearish. My formula was saying we need to go bearish. We got in early and absolutely crushed it to the downside. These were our candles. These are the closers actively trading. And you're about to witness what that looks like coming up in just a few minutes. Here we were again. We had... I think we had four, three or four bombshells this week. We were here crushing the clothes. Yes, stacking stacks, right, everyone? And it was a great day, Andre. And if you are in chat and did make money with us uh, in those bombshells, let us know. We love some dollar signs. And if you want to trade the clothes with us, well, you're about to do it in just a few minutes. So it's really exciting, action packed. And what's also cool is it kind of gives us an idea of where we're going to go tomorrow once we see where we're closing. And we will get our, our traders positioned, ready to go for the next day. Yes, Pink Sparkles. Just looking at uh, some of your commentary. I mean, this week for our trade to close, for our bombshell, you guys made, Eugene made 800 bucks yesterday. Um, in our overnight, Pink Sparkles was in at 85 cents out at three as we went long because I keep saying we're going to just go higher. Um, Daniel, one of the bombshells Daniel took in at 125 out at 470. Daniel, that's awesome. I love when you guys are making that dough. And Dan, in at 95 cents out at 295. So all of these sounds like numbers to you. And all of these are different ways to basically trade the direction. For me, my OG way is I like trading SPY. That's the S&P 500 ETF that we're watching right here. And I buy in the money call. So wherever SPY is trading, if I think that we're going to go higher, I'll buy right at that strike. If I think we're going lower, I'll buy, right or I'll, I'll buy puts right around that strike. That's how I do it. And it's really cool because you can start seeing your moolah go dollar for dollar when that direction happens. But Mark, on the other hand, has an extremely clever way of taking advantage of SPX. That's another product of the S&P that tracks the S&P 500 and XSP. So Mark will curate either a, um, a, a multi-leg trade, or like we call a butterfly, or just straight up look at uh, calls or puts in SPX. That's the cash index. So 
There are yes. many ways to do it. We will teach you how to do each of our strategies. And Mark, you're coming. I think that was a good introduction of, of, yeah. how, of what goes down yeah. here. So yes, we're going to we're going to try and set you guys up ahead of time, a couple of minutes ahead of time. So you got to pay attention right around 348, um, 347. We're going to dig in mm -hmm. early right now. I'm looking and I might want to buy the 520, the 5235, 5240 strangle, which would mean I'd buy the 5235 foot and the 5240 call right now. That's a little less than three bucks. That would be a trade that maybe we're going to look at in about mm -hmm. six minutes. Before that, I want to let you guys know, Vaz and I want to let you guys know that we have a special opportunity for everybody that's here. Yes. Right? Now, it's free Friday. And let me tell you what you get with Trade to Close. Vaz and I are here every day. Vaz is usually going to be on the show by herself for the first 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to join for the last half hour. Um, Vaz is going to do her watch list. Then she'll take volume profiles by request. So you, she'll take your watch list. Then she and I, she'll share my her watch list and we'll match up, make big money, come up with trades that we'll take for two, three, four days, up to two weeks. Uh, then uh, we'll start setting up for the end of the day. And in the last 15 minutes, we're going to trade the close, the literal close. Then after the bell, remember S&P options trade until 4.15. If Vaz and I, if Vaz says, Vaz and I see a trend for the following day, we will issue an overnight trade which is a trade that you put on in the final 15 minutes of the day and close the next morning. And usually it makes you some nice money. On top of that, you're going to get access to our community. So you're not in here, but right now we've got hundreds of people chatting live, sharing ideas, asking questions. Um, and it, the room is open all day so people can chit chat and share trading strategies. Vaz is in there. Uh, we also have a, a message board where you can share what your pet looks like, uh, recipes yeah. and trade ideas, um, share questions, all kinds of different things. Um, and Vaz is, and, um, Vaz is also issuing watch lists through there and all, all kinds of incredible information. Uh, we have top notch customer support. Um, we, we hired the single best customer support person in all of Montreal, Canada, uh, <laughs> to, to work with us. And, yes. um, and so you're getting top-notch support, a really amazing website. And we're going to offer the first month at 95% off. So $7 to try it for a month. Um, you can cancel at any time. Seven bucks. That's like a cup of, uh, that's a cup of coffee at Starbucks. You try it for seven, bu seven bucks, try it for a month. We think we're going to pay for it today. But, uh, you know, my, our closers will tell you, that the that this is the single best subscription, the, our retention rate is of subscribers is in is I believe into the ninety percentile. So think about that. People that people that sign up, ten over you know nearly ninety percent stay because they find it so valuable. So nor and normally at ninety seven dollars it's a steal, but today we're going to let you try it for seven dollars. Click the link below, or you can go to tradeaclose dot com slash pages slash join dash free dash Friday. And you can join us for $7 for a month. And again, if you don't want the renewal, we will cancel it. You'll never get charged again. You're out seven bucks. All right. That's a pack of baseball cards now. <laughs> I think Seriously. Starbucks is more expensive than seven bucks, by the way. Starbucks might. I literally so think that's a pack of like 12, 12 baseball cards from Tops now. Uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Will and, is saying this needs to be $700 a month. I mean, the value yeah. is there because Mark and I, we, we love what we do. Listen, we trade, this is our, our passion is trading, but, but our passion is also doing this live and growing a community, being a force, being a, a force in the trading world is extremely important. And it's, it's our mission to do that. So we love that our community is growing and we'd love to offer this one month for $7. You get access to all of that. It's amazing and we'd love to have you join us seven dollars yeah, will says guys you need to do will says guys you need to do this at seven bucks um guys uh, yeah best service with the best people that's bombshell mama will said did yes. you say seven dollars pink sparkle said seven dollars this is for new members only i'm sorry guys yes. you guys you guys have already gotten your months and months of 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 
prop P and L. So you guys know how much, how much this is worth it. Um, yes. So, but we'd love for you to, uh, you know, we want you to sign, we want you to join. You can click the link below or you can just type in trade to close.com slash pages slash join dash free dash Friday. And if you have questions, you can email us. What is it? Uh, support at trade to close.com. I mean, what are, what are the email question? Support at trade to close.com. Support at trade to close.com. If you have questions, um, John, John Hayden says we understand, and we have made five times the subscription price. That's great. John, we want you to do that a month. ES won't break 5,300. That is going to be a tough level for ES to break. Um, those even number, they love those even numbers in futures, but anyway, so take this opportunity, join us for $7. You can cancel at any time, click the link, or like I said, you can join at trade close.com slash pages slash join slash free fry free dash Friday. So join us and, um, Vaz, it is three forty seven. Um, okay. now that we've made the pitch. Hopefully, uh, you're, we, people are, are clamoring to join us. What, uh, what, what do you got? We're sitting right now. S and P futures are 52, 5,300 spot two five. We've been yeah, unable to really break 5,300. That's an even number well, in a future that is almost always going to be difficult. Well, Mark, you, you already kind of set us up for it. We, uh, looked for it to go long here and I am long. Um, this is going to pop and go 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 you gave us a nice little uh i, I believe it was a butterfly at the at a strangle, uh, a strangle. Minutes ago. a strangle yes strangle. a few minutes ago and it looks like we want to pop here mark i'm saying bombshell bull let's go all right well the 5240s despite the fact we're only trading 5239 and a quarter the 5240 calls that expire in 12 minutes are two bucks I think those are a buy, and then I would hedge it by buying the fifty-two thirty-five put for forty-five cents. So I'm going to pay two dollars. So I'm going to buy the fifty-two thirty-five put for forty-five cents, and I'm going to buy the fifty-two forty call. I want to pay about eh, two bucks for that. Um, I don't want to buy it. Um, I want. I don't want to put a bid in. I, I want to buy it before we hit three fifty. Right, that's our huge level. All right, right now that call is a dollar eighty at a dollar ninety. I'm going to buy that, and then I would buy the fifty two thirty five put. That's about forty five cents. When we get a pop, I want to start selling the, these at more than the value of the um, at more than the value of the whole uh, package. So I want to sell these. I want to sell the fifty two forties at. I want to start selling it over three bucks. So I'm going to pick up one of these. And just to show you, I'm I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm trading. All, I'm I'm doing small so I don't move markets. Mm -hmm. Like if I went in and swept fifty of these, I'd move the whole market, and everyone would get annoyed with me. So I paid two bucks and forty five cents, and uh, now we've got twenty seconds. I'm going to offer out my fifty two forty call I just bought. At uh, three dollars and fifty cents, and my fifty-two thirty-five put, I'm gonna offer that at two dollars and bombshell cents. bull, baby. Here we go, baby. We got that bombshell bull oh, just we got bull. like we discussed. Everybody, all right. As Mark, those always calls says, are already three. Those calls are already three dollars. So you are already in the money on your call Woo! you can't lose remember i'm offering it 350 i'm sold i'm out all right i just locked in i just locked in over a hundred dollars on that trade that trade now would have paid for this month and and when the price goes full that would have paid for next month as well now that we got that pop what do i want to do do i want to see if we get a real pop or do i want to kick back all right, so here's the thing. I sold those at three fifty. They're right back to two dollars. Um, 
So I'm not in a hurry right now to do anything. We're going to get another big pop here. During the final 10 minutes, there are three pops that happen. One at 350, mm -hmm. one at 355. The Vaz 55. The Vaz 55. And then there's usually one either in the within the final two minutes of the bell. And by the way, everyone, All right. this you just redeemed your day or made your day on at 350 on a Friday. Do you understand? Yeah. This is this is action that we have every trading day. It only is it's exciting fun. here at the end of the day. I mean, Mark, I love pitching stocks with you and talking stocks, but these bombshells, they are epic. And Eric, everyone in the chat is saying this works, people. Yes, of course it works. Mark and I have our cozy little corner here at the close. Hit your alarm clock, hit snooze, wake up at three o'clock and start trading with us. $7 a month. That's going to be our special offer. You get a month of this for $7. We'll make sure to put that link All in right. the chat below yes. um, or on the screen. You can see trade to closecom slash pages slash join dash free dash Friday. All right. So Vaz, we've got now you. eight minutes left in the day. If I wanted to, I could sell my puts at 20 cents. But the only thing I'm debating is do I pick up the 5245s? What's my upside target here into the close? So Mark, we are we're hitting resistance right here, fifty two forty two forty nine. Let me, as you guys know, and by the Where way, do I we pick called up the fifty two forty put for for eighty cents. Baby, you made that money. You made. I that might just money. sit on my hands. I might I mean, just sit on, on my hands. I mean, come on. You you just listen. I know you just it was a nice trade. trade. I oh. wish I'd have done ten of them, but like I said, I don't want to front run everybody. Hey, Mark. Um. By the way, we called this before the trade. J-Bone, J-Bone, 5240 this. calls. I bought 10 in at 190, out at 350. J-Bone, you made yes, $1,600. Woo, nice. J-Bone. That, that is a year of trade to close. That's actually, that's yeah. a year that's of trade to close. two years of trade to close. <laughs> it's almost two years of trade to close. Oh my gosh, that was so exciting. All right, we're, this is we're, like, I love I've got an upside Baldwin band up at 524515. Um the high of the day is 5246. I I got to tell you Vaz. I think they're going to rally us into the bell. What do you think? I'm I know this is going to sound rash, but I'm up a hundred bucks. I'm up over a hundred dollars, so I can do this. I'm going to pick up like a fifty-two forty-five call. I'm bidding seventy-five cents for it, so that way I still can't lose, right? I've locked in a profit. I'm bidding seventy-five cents. I'm hoping I get a little bit of selling into this Vaz fifty-five. Uh, because I think your Vaz 55 is going to give us a move. If not, I still have those 5235s underneath that are going to make me some dough. One of the things I really love about what, we, what we're doing here. All right. We have 10 seconds. Let's see what we get here. Let's go, Marco. Let's Again, if you want to trade with us, it's 95% off, which is ridiculous. Trade to close.com slash pages slash join free Friday. Uh, we'd love to have you on for seven doll hairs. Okay, seven. Dollars. Seven bucks. What do you got to seven lose? Bucks. <laughs> all, all gains, baby. All gains. All right. Now, all right, Mark. now we're getting sure a little bit of selling here, Boz, which means I'm I'm still offered on my puts. Oh, so cool. I am going to, with the, now, now that we made this big move up, I want to change my offer price on my puts. I remember I was offering at 250. I'm going to offer these at like 150. Oh, wrong one. Oh, look at this, Boz. Boz, the 52, oh, baby. the 5235 puts are getting a bid here. 
I'm going to offer these out at a dollar, at a dollar, dollar fifty, to see if we do get a a big push. Um, then I may win on both sides of this trade. That in that case, I'd be in for two dollars and thirty five, two thirty five, and I would be out at you know, $500. So that'd be an over hundred percent, hundred percent win. Um, nice. Work. And with just plus and minus with the 75 bucks. So I'd be a little less than a hundred percent on that. Just trading tiny little one lots. But here we are now, you can see we, we ran to VWAP and now they're gonna, I'm interested to see what they do in the final minute here. Awesome. All right, Marco. Excellent job, everyone. Nice bombshell bull. And guys, what'd you make on the bombshell bull? Let's look right here. Like you said, someone made $1,600. Andre Arnett in at two, out at 350. Unbelievable. Nice job, everyone. And that is trade to close for you. We would love to have everyone on board. That's an excellent offer that we, that we have today to grow our community. Is our mission, is our passion to be make everyone closers and really make a force in the trading world. That is us. These are our candles. Make them yours too and trade with us. Do it, John says. Yes, do it. Hey, Mark, you know what? It's 357. I think uh, I think we need to talk a, uh, talk about. Lunar. Oh, I was going to say what we're going to do this weekend. <laughs> oh, we can do that. We just made money, um, baby. It is Drink it on is, me. It is Lauren's birthday on Monday, so I'm taking her to Sushi ATX on Saturday night, which is like the best sushi place in in Austin. Uh, tonight, Excellent. I'm just uh, going to hang out with my fam and watch some some college basketball. What are you up to this weekend? I am absolutely after this close. I am taking my fun self, and I am getting some happy hour action here uh, in in Florida. So that's going to be really fun. Oh, I'm nice. thinking about. A martini with olives, and I would do blue watch, cheese olives. Are you gonna at least watch some basketball, Mark? I know trading. That's all I know. That's the, that's the only right. game I play. <laughs> this is the only sport I play. All right. I don't. I'm not. Well, yeah. But who should you're I like root that for? kid from? You're like that kid from Oakland. All you do is drain threes. <laughs> exactly. The college basketball. People oh, get that. Patrick, thank you. All right. Patrick's saying best service I've ever been part of. Well, Patrick, you're a closer. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. <laughs> you're a closer. Yep. It's not even a service. Watch your mouth, it's a, yep. it's a... <laughs> Chip says you're taking your wife to Olive Garden. I I mean, listen, maybe I'll I have no nothing wrong with Olive Garden, but Pink Sparkles says she says no olives in her martini, which no, is fine. Yeah, Olive Garden is to Italian food what Papa John's is to pizza. <laughs> and what McDonald's well, is know, to the hamburger. Mark, thanks for making us money into the close today. That was an awesome call. We knew that we were going to reverse. We Boz, called it We're getting it another live. push here. Boz, yes, we are. We've got one minute left. We're getting a big push. Have your offer out on that 5235 foot. We've got about we've got about two seconds. We got a how much time? Left? We've got about seventeen seconds. We're getting a big push. Holy cow, Vaz! We're gonna be I the fifty two thirty five put is over a dollar now. Take your money. Look awesome at this job, thing. Mark. We just made money on both Holy sides. Cow. Great idea yeah, to do the strangle. Sold, Sometimes we don't we always do that. Holy cow, I'm filled. So I sold my put at 150. Boz, at the end of the day. Yep. So here was the cycle of what happened. You can see on my screen. I paid $2.45 for the, the 5240 call and the 5245 put, or 5235 put. I then sold the call at 350 and I sold the put at 150. In for 245, out for five bucks, minus the 75 cents I paid on my trade, on my extra little call. I made um, $175 on $245 of risk. So you tell me that's, that's not on a little one lot, that's 80% return in 12 minutes. That's not terrible. 
Uh, that is amazing. And that is a way to kick off into the weekend a little bit richer, thanks to our signature bombshell trade. Mark, nice call to do the strangle. You made money on both sides. Excellent job, everyone. King yes. Sparkle said one both ways. Yes, Andre, that, that put was in at 20 out at 125. Excellent job, guys. Always be closing. Yes. Know those ABCs. And we hope to see a lot of new members here to get ready for trading. We have five yes. closes next week, and we're going to trade all five of them, We have baby. four closes next week. We have four closes next week, and we're going to trade <laughs> all four of them, baby. <laughs> I mean, if you want to work on Friday, you can, but the market's going to be closed. <laughs> Uh, All right, guys. Yeah. So, folks, one more time. You're getting access to me and Vaz every day, access to the amazing chat room. You're getting trades that are swing trades, two, three, four days up to a couple weeks. You're getting these this day trading as well that you can do. Um, both independently, each will pay for the service, in my belief. Uh, together, it's, it's a no-brainer. And then um, you're getting access to the community with the ability to chat with everybody. and uh, our community uh, website, plus the best customer support in town, or well, in the town of Montreal, uh, one <laughs> mean, and we're excited. One more time, click the link below, or um, you know, type in trade to close com slash pages slash join dash free dash Friday. Uh, if you have specific questions, you can email us support at trade to close dot com. Uh, yes. you got an overnight, you got an overnight idea of us. You want to go bullish? What do you think, do you think I'm going to say, Mark? I think you want to go. I think we're going up. <laughs> I'm Come with on. you. I mean, what right. if people are going to panic just because we had a little selling after reaching all time highs. Give me a break. We'll shake I'm going to give them. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll give you the overnight, uh, here in a second, awesome. but I'm looking at the 52. I'm looking at the 52, 40, 52, 55. 5270. That's going to be my fly, everybody. Awesome. Again, join us, trade to close.com. That's that's trade to close.com slash pages slash join dash free dash Friday. We're only offering this today. So take advantage of it now because we've never offered this and it'll never happen again. So we'll see you guys on Monday and it's going to be awesome. Always be closing. Mark, I love you, baby. Thanks for Have a great weekend, Vaz. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. We love you. Bye, guys. See you on Monday. Four closes next week. Four. Yes. Bye, guys.